Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Pella. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I'd like to start out this morning with a scripture reading continuing from yesterday's in Acts chapter 16, verses 25 through 40. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was an earthquake, so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, since he was supposed that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted in a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we all are all here. The jailer called for lights, and rushing in, he fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them outside and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They answered, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. At the same hour of the night he took them and washed their wounds, Then he and his entire family were baptized without delay. He brought them up into the house and set food before them, and he and his entire household rejoiced that he had become a believer in God. When morning came, the magistrates sent the police, saying, Let those men go. And the jailer reported the message to Paul, saying, The magistrates sent word to let you go. Therefore, come out now and go in peace. But Paul replied, They have beaten us in public, uncondemned, men who are Roman citizens, and have thrown us into prison. And now are they going to discharge us in secret? Certainly not. Let them come and take us out themselves. The police reported these words to the magistrates, and they were afraid when they heard that they were Roman citizens. So they came and apologized to them, and they took them out and asked them to leave the city. After leaving the prison, they went to Lydia's home, and when they had seen and encouraged the brothers and sisters there, they departed. Join me now, please, in prayer. Dear Lord, God, we ask you today for more of your Holy Spirit in our lives While it can be easy for us to become consumed with the fears that are often surrounding us each day, we know that just as your eye is indeed on the sparrow, so also do you care for and see us. Teach us today to become more reliant on you when times are grim. Bring us into a greater knowing of how you operate so that we may come into a deeper understanding that all we see with natural eyes is not all that is. Today we ask for eyes to see your hand in all matters that we may experience, and hearts open to your work. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you all right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you have a good day today.